Right, so beside me is a 2003 WRX wagon. Uh, if you've been starting to follow our YouTube channel, this is the same car that now has a 2.5 liter engine in it. Um, we did the brake ducts install on this car. Um, and uh, if you've been following us for a long time, going all the way back to 2006, this is our first project car. Um, and this car is near and dear to my heart because it's actually my car. Um, this has been a daily driver for me for a number of years, thousands and thousands of miles, lots of track days. Um, but we're finally getting to the point where, or I'm finally getting to the point where now it's going to be more of a purpose-built track car versus a daily driver. And if you follow us on Facebook, last year went out and took the car to the track High Plains Raceway for the first time uh, with the 2.5 liter engine. And having the extra torque and horsepower was a lot of fun, but ran into a few problems. Uh, the two most notable are one, uh, the, the plug that I had in the up pipe, up pipe bung came out and I melted my wiring harness. Let me tell you, that is no fun. So since then, we've been in the process of getting that fixed and figured out. But also the brakes. The brakes were, they never let me down, running the Super 4 Pots um, and the uh, Legacy H6 upgraded rear uh, rotors with uh, DTC 30 pads. They never let me down, but they definitely got really hot. And the, the, the goal for this car now is, like I said, to turn it into more of a, a purpose-built track car and not looking to be super fast, not looking to be setting like lap or track records with this car. The goal is to make this car stone reliable. Um, be able to just go out to the track, be reasonably quick, um, but you know, do multiple track days a year, multiple track days a month, um, and have the car just be reliable, just you know, easy, uh, or just basically take care of consumables, and and that's about it. So that's that's the goal of the build. So the brakes need to be looked at, and we're doing a whole lot with this car to kind of achieve that goal. Um, not only do we have these couple things that need attention, but this car is now 14 years old. Um, and in the process of going through to do the brakes, some of that reality kind of hit because, you know, like the, the wheel bearings need to be replaced, ball joints need to be replaced. Um, a lot of kind of wear items are, are we're going through to replace those as well. So I want to make this video to let you know that there's a lot coming with this car. Well, let's see, brakes, weight savings, um, we're, we're going to fix that, uh, that, that pesky exhaust leak once and for all, hopefully. Um, so there's a lot coming, so stay tuned, um, and if like me, you feel like there's no greater joy in the world than, than passing somebody in a sports car on a racetrack with a wagon, um, hopefully we're going to have a lot, of, a lot of good videos for you. Um, so yeah, so thanks very much for, for watching, and um, stay tuned, because there's a lot of good stuff to come with this car. Oh, and, and to give you an idea with the brakes, and just kind of, kind of just to give you an idea with the, the build as a whole, so we're, we're getting serious, folks. So there, there should be some serious stopping power and, um, and really looking forward to making this car decently quick, stone reliable at the track, and uh, yeah, it should be awesome. So stay tuned. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks for your support, and uh, lots of good stuff to come.